Hello, everybody. You know the dealio, testing out the audio. Let's hear how that sounds, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, the audio sounds all right. I'm gonna get all the stuff set up right now. And in the meantime, while you guys are waiting for me, um, make sure to enter the giveaway. Last time we did a live stream, uh, I made a deal with you guys where if you've made it to over 250 likes, I do a giveaway. And if you did it during the live stream, I do two giveaways. So we're doing two giveaways. Uh, here you can see all the information on the screen right now for how to enter the first giveaway and there is uh, information in the description on how to enter giveaway number two. There's two different giveaways and there's two different ways to enter them. Giveaway number two is going to be for people that aren't watching the live stream, um, although you can obviously enter if you are in the live stream. Giveaway number one is specifically for people that are watching the live stream. Both giveaways are going to be for a crochet kit, and I'm going to repeat all of this in just a few minutes when I get uh, live. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Bye! All right, let's get rocking and rolling. And do boop ba do ba did it ba da boop boop beep do. I wrote that song uh, yesterday. Thought you guys might like it. Um, I've actually been working on it for like a really long time. Uh, uh, so I'm like really shy about that song. So please like it. Hey everybody. <laughs> uh, normal old weird Lou here. Normal weird. Yeah, that makes sense. It's four. That means that I'm fully awake this time. Uh, hey guys, today we're gonna be finishing up crocheting our golden dragon uh, that we started on Sunday. Someone in the chat was asking if you missed Sunday's live stream, are you gonna be uh, left behind? No, don't worry about it. We're just here to crochet along together and just make things together and hang out. So, you know. You're not, you're not behind. I'll fill you in on the details. Last live stream, we made the wings, we made the feet, we made the arms, and we made a, uh, uh, what's it called? Like the spikes that go on along the back. And then we also made the head. So today we're going to be finishing up the body, sewing everything together, and then maybe if we have time, we're gonna try making a, um, like a harness so that like a little goblin can ride it. But we're gonna see, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. Um, 
Okay. For this live stream, you will need the following materials if you would like to crochet along with me. First off, you're going to need the yarn. Uh, I'm using all worsted weight yarn. You're going to need two colors. You're going to need your main color and your secondary color. I'm using golds in this pattern, but the kits that are now available in the shop, if you want to purchase them, they're available at clubcrochet.com slash dragon, are uh, for a green or a red dragon. You get to decide. So I left the, I put the yarn out on the screen there. You also need some uh, uh, safety bead eyes. I use six millimeter safety bead eyes. I use a size G four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and you'll need five pipe cleaners, a lot of pipe cleaners, because all of the parts of this body are wibbly wobbly. You can bend them. Let me show you. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it out. See, look. Woo. Hello. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This is what we're making, by the way. Um, okay, so that's all the things that you need. While you guys are getting all that stuff sorted, um, let me talk about how you can help support this channel and how you can enter the giveaways that are going on right now. Um, the first thing is, uh, if you'd like to support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The first easy, cheap way, like the video. Go like it down below. Subscribe to the channel. We got 250 likes last time. I'm going to shoot for the moon this time um, because we made it last time. I don't think we're going to make it. And I thought, you know, this would be kind of fun. Why don't we just go go crazy? If this video gets 300 likes, I'll do another giveaway during the next live stream. 300 likes. We'll see. I don't think it'll happen, but maybe it will. Make it happen. We'll see. And you can enter... Uh... Oh, wait. Sorry. I skipped. I skipped. The other way you can help support if you'd like to is by becoming a Club Crochet member. That's the best way ever to support. Members get early access to future patterns. They get exclusive access to all the patterns on the website. They get discounts in the shop. They get... What else? P downloadable PDFs for everything. Oh! Monthly kits with all the materials that they need mailed directly to the door. That's a big one. This month's kit was for a dragon. And next month's kit, if you would like to sign up for a pro membership, is going to be for this, this beautiful, beautiful plant that I found that uh, that does not like water. It really likes blood. I don't know. I don't know much about it. But anyhow, this is going to be next month's club crochet kit pot and all. You're going to be making a little Audrey 2, a.k.a. carnivorous alien plant. That's what I'm calling it because I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, it's actually going to be a much smaller pot because this is just like, this pot is massive. It's just unnecessarily big. So we're going to be doing this little adorable cute pot instead because it's just so cute. And here you can see I'm testing out the pattern right now, working on it. I have got the face finished. I gotta put it all together next. Um, but, but that is gonna be next Club Crochet Pro Kit. If you'd like to sign up, that is uh, the chance to get it. Um, someone, Katiana, asks, what does the kit contain? The kit contains everything that you need in order to make whatever we're making. Um, so for the Dragon Kit, it comes with everything you need except for the tools. It does not come with a crochet hook, scissors, or a darning needle. Actually, it does come with a darning needle, but it doesn't come with crochet hook or scissors. You can sign, uh, you can uh, get a crochet hook for a little bit extra. Um, so it can come with the crochet hook, but it will not come with scissors. Um, okay, if you'd like to enter this giveaway, let me get this stuff out of the way and get started here and talk about other stuff. We're just gonna put all of our pieces. Actually, I wanna keep our pieces out. We'll go ahead and move these right here get this set up right there music seems insanely quiet as if it's not even on we'll turn it up a little bit there we go this is going to be a relatively chill live stream we're just going to be crocheting finishing up our dragon oh and the pattern i think i already said this but it's at right here clubcrochet.com slash dragon Let's turn on autofocus and see how that goes. Move these over. And I'm just going to continue on in our head. 
Uh, luckily, I have check marks for all of the patterns that I do, so I kept I can keep track of where I left off. Um, a little, a little, little, little thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I'm on round 16 if you're crocheting along with us. Obviously, we made all the body parts we need. We just need to continue on the body now. So I'm on round 16, and while I'm doing round 16, uh, let's talk about how you can enter this here giveaway. So like I said, last live stream, I told you guys if we hit 250 likes during the live stream, I'll do two giveaways uh, on this live stream. And you definitely did it. You like blew it way past what I thought it was going to get. Um, so, we are doing two giveaways now. You can enter to win both the giveaways in different ways. So the first giveaway is specifically for you watching this live stream right now. Um, if you're watching the live stream, we're doing a giveaway live. At the end of the live stream, I will announce the winner of the giveaway. And you can enter to win giveaway number one in the description. Um, there is going to be a form. There are three rules to this giveaway, to giveaway number one. Rule number one, you need to like this video. Easy. That's easy. Rule number two, you need to subscribe to the channel. Another easy one. You probably already did that anyhow. Rule number three, you need to fill out the description, which is linked in the description, or fill in a form, which is linked in the description down below. Now, there's only one entry per person. Um, I also put up a, uh, I put it in the chat a little while ago. I'll put it again right now. Let me do it right now. Enter giveaway numero uno here. Oopsies. There you go. Giveaway number one, you can enter right there. And then, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, giveaway number two. Now giveaway number two is going to be uh, uh, for people that are watching it live. You can enter it if you wanna watch it, if you want to, but also for people that are not watching live, that are watching later, or just fans of the channel in general. All you gotta do to enter number giveaway number two is check out the link in the description for a YouTube community post that I made. Um, it's a post where I show all of the uh, like little body parts of, of our dragon there. And you just need to comment on that post with a name for what we're making right now. And my favorite name that is posted there will win the giveaway. So you just need to post the name in the, in the, as a comment on that post. Again, the link for that is also in the description of this video. It's, it's the, t the second link on this video um, description. So those are the two ways that you can enter to win this, these giveaways. Good luck to you. I really, I really, really wish you the best. Um, I'm really excited because we're going to be giving away two different uh, dragon kits. I think I'm going to do one red, one green. I'm not sure which one will get which just yet, but I'm still pretty excited. And again, we'll announce the first giveaway winner at the end of this live stream. All right, so I have actually just finished round 18. I'm gonna go ahead and check these off on my little website there. Uh, and I'm on round 19. Um, boo, 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 boo. Yes, okay, now that all that fun stuff is mostly out of the way, I, I'll talk more about things a bit later. But now that that's out of the way, Let's talk to the chat. Hello, chat. I'm so sorry I've ignored you. How is everybody? Takoyaki, um, you got a question for the giveaway. Is it shipping free? Yeah, it's shipping free. It's a giveaway. If you win it, I will ship it. Absolutely free. Katiana, Katiani, Katiani says, if I leave the live stream before it ends, will I still be eligible for the giveaway? You betcha. As long as you put your email in that form, um, I will have a way to, to reach out to you and let you know that you won. Um, I'll still announce you're the winner at the end, but uh, yeah, you, you can leave as long as you enter that form during the live stream. Uh-oh, second link isn't working for some people. All right, I will fix that in just a second. Let me finish up this round and then I can fix that up for you. 
This pattern gets really funny near the end, especially when I'm crocheting it in this light box because his head will like hit the ground like this <laughs> and I feel like I'm just being so mean. All right, that is round 19 done. Let's, let's fix up those links. Is the giveaway international? Yes, it is. International giveaway is yes. International giveaway is yes. All right, here we go. There we go. I fixed the link. Give away number two here. There you go. And you just need to enter a name for giveaway number two. And I just put the link in the description. Sunshine, am I still going to put Frog and Friends in the rough draft? Absolutely I am. I've just been so stacked up with finishing up all these other patterns um, that I just haven't had a chance yet. But I will be adding the Frog and Friends to the rough drafts soon. Um, if it's not there by next live stream, um, honestly, if it's not there by like this weekend, uh, reach out to me via email and bug me or reach out to me on Discord. Uh, by the way, if you don't know yet, we have a Discord channel. Um, you can find that at just clubcrochet.com slash Discord, real easy. And in that Discord channel, if you don't find the frog, the frog by this weekend, uh, go ahead and bug me about it. Um, and yeah. More, the more people that bug me about rough drafts and stuff, the easier it is for me to add it on there. Uh, and there is no no worries about annoying me. I forget things a lot. I have so many different things that I want to do on this on the site or throughout my week. So I forget things. So I very much appreciate people helping me remember things. Desiree, you still haven't found the rough draft area. You can find the rough draft area actually by just going to clubcrochet.com slash rough drafts. It is a little bit hidden on the website, but it's not that hidden. Um, another way you can find it is by going into the um, going to the homepage. Go to members.clubcrochet.com. That's the homepage. And then there's a little square slider that's on the bottom. So there's like the main big slider on the top and then there's like this little square that says things you might like. And it's one of those slides that says uh, Louis Rough Drafts there. Those are the two ways to enter. Okay, Nova, thank you very much. Yes, giveaway number two is also in the community tab. How's everybody's Wednesday going? How's everybody's week going? My week's been a okay. I'm getting ready because this weekend I'm doing a craft fair up in Petaluma, which is about an hour and a half north of where I live right now. Um, it's gonna be my first, like, it's it's actually gonna be my very first club crochet specific um, craft fair. So I'm gonna be selling crochet kits and stuff there. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Um, my friend Nicole is coming up to help me out with it, and I'm excited about it. And Jules is, of course, going to help out as well. Rebecca's had a crap week. That sucks. I'm sorry. Well, I hope it gets a lot better. You know, we need those bummer weeks to make your good weeks better. You need a little bit of darkness to make the light better. I learned that from Bob Ross. Actually, I've learned that from a few people, I guess. <laughs> Frog and Friends are coming soon-ish. Um, I want to get them out by November, uh, but it might not be until next. It might be like November for the uh, for pro members, and then after that for other people. I'm not really totally 100% sure exactly how I'm going to do it just yet, or something like that. How, where can you find just a little amount of the magnets for the bats and the sloth? That's what um, Leaf Sauce asks, asks. By the way, hi, Leaf Sauce. Um, so those magnets, I actually get them for wholesale online somewhere. I am not totally sure. I think there's some maybe on like, in like on Target and, or Amazon or little craft stores. 
the important thing that you're looking for is you're looking for super strong magnets. Um, they are very tiny. Here, I actually have some right here. Let me grab them. So you can see they're very small. Um, I think they're only like a few, like, like a few millimeters long, maybe like six millimeters long. Actually, no, probably a big, maybe like 10 millimeters long. Um, and they're very strong. Like, I think I can probably just go like, let's see. Yeah, see, I can make it flip in my hand because the magnet's so strong. Oh, I can't do it anymore. But that's the, I also have them in kits. Uh, and I think I would like to start selling them in my, in my store too. Um, so I'm, I might have them for sale in the store soon also. Just like small amounts of them, like 10 of them or something. Neodymium. That's what K Nova says. That they're called neodymium magnets. I really like those magnets a lot. They are really cool. Really cool to add to your crochet projects. And yeah, I'm just I'm just a fan. Okay, I'm gonna count my round here to make sure that I am on track because I am worried that I'm getting off track here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see, that should be six, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so I think I missed a, I think I missed something here. Let me, let me count, let me count around. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Twenty. Well, that's not right at all. Where'd I mess up? Oh, I know where I messed up. Ooh, whoopsies. We gotta go back a few rounds. I know what I did. I goofed. I thought that they, I, I wasn't counting my stitches. I was just going with the flow and going with the flowing and that messed me up. We're supposed to go one, two. Yeah, so that's what I stitch. Boop. There we go. Back on track. One, two, three. There we go. Four and five. I also want to get an Amazon business account. I would like to start getting my crochet kits for sale on Amazon. But uh, I'm I'm actually pretty nervous about it because it's a scary it's a scary marketplace to get into. You gotta stay up to date with all the review stuff I'm worried that like what if I sell a lot of kits oh I don't know if I can handle you know okay let me make sure I got this right now okay that should be good I think we're on track let's make sure Anna asks how do I do it without stitch markers that's a good question. I will tell you how I do it with that stitch markers. Apparently, I mess up every now and then, but usually I'm pretty all right with it. And how I do it is I look at where my increased stitches are. That is key number one. If you want to learn how to crochet without stitch markers, be able to notice the difference between an increase and a regular single crochet really quick. If you can, if you can notice that like right away, it's so easy to crochet without stitch markers because you just need to look at where your last increase is and know that that's where your last increase was from the last round. So I know that this was my last stitch to make because that was the last increase. If you look closely, let me zoom in here. I can show you the difference. So this was my last stitch right there. And I know that because the stitch right under it right here is an increase. There's two V's going into one hole. This is just a regular single crochet. It's just one V going into one hole. This is another increase. Two V's going into one hole. So these are all these last increases for my pattern lines up perfect. So if I can follow these last increases up, I know that this is the end of the round. And I know that stitch specifically, that was the last increase because if I look over to the right or to the left of that, if I keep going around, you know, this was the last increase. If I keep going around, there would be an increase right here if that wasn't the end of the round. So there's an increase, but I've already done a single crochet over that increase. So I know that this one must be the last increase because there's the first increase. 
That makes sense? I think that makes sense. Let me know if you want any more um, explanation there. I know I kind of ramble sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Tokyo. Tokyo? I agree. I think this is good music for, for what we're making here. Oh, and then uh, my next round here. So I'm on, I'm on a round where I need to increase up again. And I know that my increase stitch is going to go where my last increase stitch was. So I know that right here I've made an increase. And that's because it lines up perfectly with the last increase. See? And that's why I messed up, actually, is because I just kept going as if all my increases were going to line up. But really, they don't in this pattern. The Only the last increase will line up for every single round. Um, because round 19, I did one single crochet. And then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I messed up because I assumed that all my increases were lining up, but that wasn't the case. Only the last one is going to line up for most of them. Daniel, did you miss the giveaway? Heck no, you didn't miss the giveaway. There are two giveaways. The first one is only for live streamer, like for people watching the live stream. So you could, you could miss that giveaway if you're watching this video way after it's gone live, but you're not late. You can still join it. The giveaway number one is linked in the description. And then giveaway number two, you're definitely definitely not late for. Giveaway number two, uh, we're going to be doing, I'm going to announce the winner for that next week. So giveaway number one, I'll announce today. And then giveaway number two, I'll announce next week. To enter giveaway number one, there's a link in the description uh, to a form that you fill out. Really easy. You just need to give me your email, basically. And then giveaway number two, you just need to name the dragon. And there is a link to a community post where you can do that. <laughs> Anna says, oh, I think I'll keep using stitch markers for now. Um, yeah, that's probably that's probably for the best. Uh, I I do need to come out with like a better explainer for how to use how to um, keep track of stitch markers but or keep track of your patterns without stitch markers but I'll, I'll I don't know I'll add that to the docket of many the many videos I want to make I think the next tutorial I want to make is either for uh, a new hat a lot of people were saying they want to see a witch hat um, or for how to make glasses for your ambi groomy because that's something that I've always wanted to do Ooh, that was a good neck crack. Wow. Sarah, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Oh, if this gets 300 likes, you sh I will I will whip Jack Gurgle out. He'll, well, Jack Gurgle will wake up from his, his slumber he slumbers quite a lot, but he will be here if this gets 300 likes. Sure thing. Wow, it's already got 117. That's crazy. Maybe Jack Gurgle will show up today. We'll see. I don't think I don't think you can do it, but <laughs> I really hope you can. It would be I'll be super duper impressed if you get to 300 likes in this video. Yo, Diane, welcome. First time here. Well, welcome. First time caller, long time listener. <laughs> Will I please send giveaway number one again? Sure thing. One second. Let me finish up this round and I'll post it in the chat for you, Sunshine. Uh, Anna. Anna made Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg amigurumi and the glasses were the best with the easy with wire. I love it. Yeah, I think a witch hat would be pretty fun. I mean, perfect for October, obviously. So yeah, I think a witch hat will be my next one. I need to, I need to finish up this um, Audrey two pattern, and then I can work on that witch hat pattern. I'd really love to get both of those out by October first for Club Crochet members, but honestly, at the rate I'm going right now, I don't know if that's gonna happen. 
Cool, I just finished up round 26, so I can start sewing on the arms now, and I can add um, some stuff on the, in the head. Uh, let's see, where should I start? Should I start with the arms, or should I start with the head? Start with the arms, start with the head, start with the arms, no, no, no. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tina, Jack Gurgle will start making an appearance more often soon. I just need a new way to have Jack Gurgle say hi. Um, it, sh it really hurts my wrist to do this. So I really want a new way to do it maybe. I What I'm thinking is like if I can get a camera here and I can do a green screen right here where the computer is then it'll be really easy for me to do Jack Gurgle and talk at the same time, like as if Jack Gurgle isn't right here. I don't know, I'm really excited for that, but I just haven't had the chance to work on it. I just have so many patterns. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the arms now. Oh yeah, Link, you wanted the Link. Wow, we got 74 people. I'm, hey guys, if you're watching this live right now, Thank you so much for joining live. Like, I know this is a Wednesday. It's kind of a weird time for a live stream. So I wasn't really expecting that many people to join. This is great. This is awesome. We have like a, our whole, the whole crew is here. <laughs> Here's another link for you, Sunshine. I know Julia just said that it's in the description and it is, uh, but I will still put it here again. Wow, this song is like all about frogs. There you go, Tina. Or or Sunshine. Oh, Anna, you got a notification. That's awesome. Do, are, do you have the bell rung? Or did you just get a notification without the bell being rung? I'm curious because I don't really know how the bell thing works. Um, I know that if you ring the bell uh, when you subscribe, it's supposed to give you a notification each time, but I have the bell rung for like a few different people that I'm subscribed to and I don't really get notifications. So I don't know. Or did you get an email notification? Are you, did you get an email one or? I'm very curious, Anna, let me know. I, I wanna know how, I, I'm really curious about how people get notified. Affy, do I have the written pattern for the dragon? I sure do. It's available right here. Clubcrochet.com slash dragon. D-R-A-G-O-N. Um, it is available for sale, um, but it's also available with a Club Crochet membership, if you didn't know that. Uh, members get access to all the patterns on the website. And uh, honestly, a membership is only $1 more than it costs for this pattern and you get access to all my patterns and not just this pattern. So highly recommend. And you even get a free trial if you sign up for a membership. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and it helps support this channel. I currently have a day job outside of this crochet stuff. And the more people that become members, it's the closer I am to doing this full time, which is something I have always wanted for my entire life. I've always wanted to crochet. Well. Since, since I started crocheting in high school, I always wanted to be a full-time crocheter. And hopefully I'll get there soon. I think I'm pretty close, but you know, there's all this kind of uncertainty. There you go like that. All right, we got our arms made. And I'm going to find out exactly where I put the arms. This one, we have three stitches away for the arms. So we're gonna go, and it's between rounds 20 and 22. This is always, I, I have the hardest time sewing on anything, any pieces, but especially when it comes to things like arms on a dragon like this, it can be really difficult. But I believe it's gonna be right above that increase. Yeah, so we're gonna go like this. Let's try right here. Arm number one. There we 
go. Uh, Alejandra says, will the witch hat be like human size or be tiny? It'll be just a tiny hat. I really like making little tiny hats to match my Amy Gurumi, but I do want to start getting into making more um, larger items too in the future. Like full size hats. Uh, it's just, I have, you know, those take a lot longer than amigurumi, so I really like doing amigurumi because I like to make projects really quickly. Okay, so I have three stitches between these rounds, so I need to make sure that these, so the one, two, three, and then it'll be these two. So let's go like one, and two. So I'm, I am, I'm essentially right now making like the skeleton uh, for the arms so that when I sew the arms on they'll go around these pipe cleaners so that I can bend uh, the arms into directions that I want them to be. It's how I do a lot of things in my patterns. I really like doing that so that they can be posable. And look at how cute his little arms are. Hello! <laughs> Yeah, it does look like a squeaky dragon. You're totally right, Aquatic Luna. Okay, so we got those arms there, and I want three stitches in between. Okay. We need... I need a little tiny stick. Where do we got the little stick? I need a little tiny stick so I can stuff the arms. Um, it's really hard to do with a crochet hook because these arm, the hole for these arms are like really tight. So I like to use a stick instead. Wow, 82 people. Golly jeepers, that was a lot. Emily Arts just finished crocheting a pumpkin. A, pump a pumpkin. I think I want these three stitches to be the center. So this one actually is a little close, but that's all right. So we're gonna go like that. See, I, I place this over the arm. Pull that in. Oopsies. There we go. There we go, now he's got his arm on. And before I go too much further, I do wanna stuff up the arm really quick just with like a tiny itty bit itty bit of stuffing just so the arms aren't like completely you know like flaccid and wibbly wobbly we don't want a wibbly wobbly arm wow 146 likes already maybe you guys will make it to 300 prove me wrong i dare you you know what i double dog dare you to like this video. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna stuff it too much right up here. It's mostly stuffed right here in the end because I want this part to be more flexible. All right. <coughs> you yeah, casually sees the dragon. Here, I'll put, I'll put our finished dragon right here so you can see what we're making. He can watch us creating a new friend of his, which needs a name. If you want to name this dragon, there's a link to giveaway number two, and all you got to do for giveaway number two is name this dragon. Um, link in the description. Hamilton! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I want to make sure the hand's thumb is pointed like down or towards the inside. So I'm gonna start like right there. I'm gonna go one, two, three, there. Archer, 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 archer. I tri Sarah triple dog dared ya. Triple dog. Okay, let's count these. Let's count these stitches before I get too far ahead. We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll have one, two, three. So 
Okay, we're gonna have to make a little bit of little wibble, w little little maneuvering here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three. That'll work. That'll work. Huh? Jules and I have this inside joke, which is now gonna be outside because I'm gonna tell all you about it. Where, uh, I think I've actually told you about this before. We go, I start with like a, eh? And then she goes, huh? Eh? Then we go, eh? What? Eh? Huh? What? Huh? What? <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow, that's a thing. All right. Arm number one sewn on. Arm number one sewn on. He's like a big. He's like a big lizard or or dinosaur right now. Laser dinosaur. I like dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Name them the Golden Arches. Never go full De Niro. <laughs> hey! Hey! You talking to me? I don't see anybody else here you talking to. You talking to me? That's my De Niro. It might be a little old for De Niro. Hey! You talking to me? Nah. Alejandra, thank you. I like the music too. Which one is this? Is this the fall? Oh yeah, this is the autumn playlist. Um, it'll it'll mix up a little bit in a in a bit to go to somewhere else, but I also like this one a lot. Basically, I just download music, uh, video game music, um, usually Nintendo music because that's my jam. All right, arm numero dos. Coming at you. Crack the fingers. Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. I'll do. I'll do it in the ASMR style. Here we go. Oh, I couldn't get any there. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. One of these times I'm gonna do this, and my one of my fingers is gonna fall off. Oh. You gotta stretch. You gotta stretch, you gotta drink water. Two things, you just, you gotta do it. Stretch, drink water, you gotta breathe. Ugh. It's like, how am I supposed to remember all these things? Okay. <laughs> Pay taxes. <laughs> how am I supposed to remember all these things? <laughs> you gonna arrest me? I already gotta breathe and drink and, and stretch. Now you gonna arrest me because I didn't pay my taxes? Okay. My favorite segment, Louis breaks his neck. <laughs> Accurate. Bye, Tatiana. Oh my God, it's 5.15 a.m. Gotta go to school. You need to go to sleep now. I hope, hopefully you're in college because if you're in elementary or if you're in high school or middle school and it's 5.15, you gotta wake up and go. Ooh. I could, I did that in college, but I could never do that when I was in like high school. Man, college, whew. Who else remembers college? Who else, who here is in college? I'd love to go back to college. I'd love it. Okay. Let's make sure we're on track here. There we go, one, two, three, five. One. Actually, I think I need to go up on like that.
<laughs> so today I was doing uh, lessons on Duolingo. I've been doing Duolingo all week for Japanese. And then I realized that I could make a sentence, my own sentence, without Duolingo's help. And I said it, and, and then I looked it up, and I was right. And I said, Watashi no neko no... Uh, uh, uh oh, no neko no... Uh, nega wa? Jiminy des? I think that's right. I think I just said, my cat's name is Jiminy. I think. I had it right earlier, but that was earlier. I also know the word for drink is nomu, and I know that the word for drink is nomu because cows don't drink milk. Nomu. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remembered it. <laughs> That's how I do a, a lot of the uh, memorizing Japanese words. Like the word for blue in Japanese is ao or owl, owl. And the re the reason that I know that it's owl is because when you get an owie, it's black and blue. So you know that the word for blue is owl. The things you're gonna learn. And then the word for red is aka, because it's almost like ao, but it's it, but it's not. I don't know why I remember that one. Wow, over halfway there from C Starlight just says we're over halfway to 300 likes already. This is crazy. You guys are crazy. I just need to offer you guys more giveaways, and you'll like all all the videos. <laughs> what should we give away if you guys get to 300 likes what do you want give a, given away at the next live stream I gotta think about that I gotta think about that I want I'd like to make it a game I, would, I was trying to make a game out of this one but it was like too late I just couldn't get it all set up in time okay so I am going to stuff the head now before I sew on the wings Tabimono? What does tabimono mean, Victoria? Or Virginia? Hey, also, uh, forgot to mention this way earlier. If you'd like to, we have merch now. We have some new merch in the chat, or in the, on the website. Oh wait, you know what? I actually forgot to make it go live, but I'll do it um, after this video. I'll, I'll add the, new merch into the chat or into the on the website but we have pins um i actually have i'm going to show you three different kinds of pins i have one more but i'm keeping the last one a secret um so you guys know this pin this was the club crochet logo pin and i got one well, i got it made in pink now i think the pink one is just so cute i really like the pink crochet hook and then i also got one made that is a rainbow pin people I think people are gonna really like the rainbow one. I took a long time trying to figure out how to make the rainbow perfect, but I really like it a lot. Um, so these are gonna be added to the uh, website later today as new merch, um, along with all the stickers. There's T-shirts. I'm wearing a wearing a Church of Perch shirt right now. Like 50% of my wardrobe is um, my own merch because I'm the only one that buys it. <laughs> Dragon Tomagachi asks, what's my favorite pattern that I have made so far? I think my favorite pattern that I've made is either the, um, shoot, I just realized, I think I'm supposed to go, I think I'm supposed to, this is supposed to be half of a pipe cleaner. Let's see. Well, we can do, a, we'll do a full one. Um, my favorite pattern is uh i think i really like the di the the um t-rex pattern that i made that one's really good uh or the let's see the t-rex one's really good the goblins oh the goblins are great i love that pattern 
And this dragon pattern is crazy cool. I'm really into it a lot. I, it's definitely top five. The only reason it's not the my favorite pattern is because it there's a lot of sewing that goes into it, and you know I. I'd rather not sew things on if I don't have to. Um, so like the octopus pattern I really like because you don't have to sew anything on. And the squid pattern. Actually the squid patterns. Are... I got a lot of favorites. Bye Tokyo! Konbawa! Or wait, no. Jane! There we go. Konbawa means hello, but like good evening. And then Konbawa or, and then Jane means it's like a casual way to say goodbye, I'm pretty sure. If anybody speaks Japanese in the chat, let me know if I'm a ding-dong or not. All right, we're going to try to get this pipe cleaner in there. We got a Jules. You want to say hello? I just need to make sure that this pipe cleans all over my head. Ooh, getting Halloween-y. Oh, getting spooky? Getting spooky. Hello. I heard some Japanese. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling them my Japanese because you don't want to hear it. I do. It was just a lot when it was like, this is red, this is left. Like, I'm not going to remember them. When do you, you remember ear? Ad hoc. Uh, owie? Oi? No, no, that's blue. Oh, see? I don't know. I it don't was, know. What it was Mimi. Mimi. See, I'm not gonna remember when you tell me like ad hoc like that. Okay, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll try to come up with more the, the tricky if ways I, to say it. Here, if I were to use the app and learn it with you, then I would love to talk about it. But my brain does not have space for that right now, unfortunately. Hello. Oh, Hi, fine, everybody. Whatever. Uh, I got a new, I got a promotion at work, so my brain is focused yes, on that right now. She's a big, big time manager lady now. I'm a, I'm a manager now of all the executive assistants in my office. Big which time is very boss exciting. lady. Big time bossy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody! Oh my gosh, there's so many people. I know. Aww. There's like a crazy amount of people joining the live stream right now. It's really cool. It is cool. Oh, Danielle, uh, the event on Sunday went pretty well. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it could have gone way worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. Um, yeah. Oh, should I bring the cats? Should I? Should I? Okay, but you gotta make. Cat? You gotta. Br if you're gonna bring Jiminy in here, you gotta be uh -huh. really careful because he has been known to turn off the live stream mid live stream. He's done that before. And Actually, he stopped meowing, so maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I don't think. I you don't want to poke the bear, so to speak. Poke the cat bear. Poke the bear. Oh, thanks for the congratulations. I want to speak to the manager. Uh, not looking forward to those moments. No, uh, <laughs> no. Luckily, I don't have to. Um, in my job, there, there's not a lot of like client facing or customer facing stuff very much uh, working from home and behind the scenes and only dealing with my coworkers and not other people. <laughs> yeah, that is fortunate. It would not be nearly as fun if you were a manager. I know. And yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hi everybody. How's the dragon coming? The dragon is coming along a okay. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where to put the wings right now. Right there looks pretty darn good. I think that's not bad. I didn't realize you used pipe cleaners to like insert the wings yeah, in there. That's super cool. Yeah, connect everything together. He's very clever. He's a clever boy, my I'm boy. so smart. He's so smart. Oh, go ahead. Really, really. Oh. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this is all I'm good for. This is it. This is all your hands are good for. Just, just back for scratches. scratching my back. No knitting, no cooking. Mm -mm. Just back scratches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And oh, could you give me a, the two. back warmer? Yes, I will heat up the rainbow for you. How's your back feeling? It's okay. My back's been hurting a lot recently. <gasps> Lou, we got someone asking what we're going to be for Halloween. Should we tell them? Yeah, sure. Ooh, okay. do you think we could do... Since we're pushing... Since we couldn't mm -hmm. do Loop and Pearl, mm -hmm. do you think maybe we could do Loop and Pearl and be in our costumes? Yeah, we're going to do that as well. Okay. You can't skip to October when we've already skipped August I know, and I know, we're in I know, September. I know, I know, I know. 
I hate it when people skip holidays. Can I just say that? I've said it. Like, you don't celebrate Christmas right now. No. You got Halloween and Thanksgiving. But, but cream blowers. No. Uh, so for Halloween, we're going to be the Lokis. Yes. From the new Loki show. I need to get a wig and some some contacts or something. I need to figure out which outfit I want to choose from the show. Because I think she has two or three. I'm going to pick the easiest one. <laughs> <laughs> but my hair is ready. You need the little horns. That's going to be the hardest part. The, what? How is that the hardest part? Where are you going to find little tiny horns? Are you going to make them? What are you talking? What? Her like horns. Her, well, your Loki has horns. What are you going to no. do? No. Yeah, huh? No, not not when he's in his little outfit. Yours always has uh, her horns on. Good point. Good point. I'll figure it out. I. You know what? I think that that there's a Halloween store out there online that is ready for all the people who yeah, want to be sure. Lady Loki. So I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna check that out first. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm sure you're right. Ooh. So, Rebecca, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I, I understand not celebrating Halloween. Do you also not celebrate Thanksgiving? And it's cool, either way. I'm just curious because you said you're, you you're celebrating Christmas now. Uh, oh. hmm. Someone's gonna be a cow for for Halloween. That's cute. No moo. Uh, <laughs> you're silly. Oh, I'm gonna knit my horns. Sure. Uh, maybe I'll make you crochet them. <laughs> oh, I can crochet some little those little horns. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna crochet full size Loki horns though. That'd be no. crazy. No, I think I'll I'll look online and see what I could find first, and then get creative as needed. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'll go heat up your rainbow for your back or my rainbow. He stole it from me. Yeah. But it's great. It is great. <laughs> it smells like lavender when you heat it up. It's very nice. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Yep, Loki. I'm Loki, gonna be Loki. Mine's easy, cause I just gotta be in a. I, I just gotta wear a suit, basically, cause I'm gonna be Loki at the, in like the, TVA or whatever it's called. And he just he just wears like a, cool suit. I just need to get a wig. That's my that's my biggest thing. I can't grow my hair out in time. Okay, and check this on. All right, we got one of the wings sewn one. Now, the hard part's gonna be making sure that the second wing is gonna be, oh my God, I could be <laughs> Crocodile Loki, that'd be funny. Oh, we should make Jimbo Crocodile Loki, or a little Jimbo Loki. I'll, I'll crochet him some Loki horns. That'd be cute. That'd be so cute. Oh my God, I wanna do that really bad. Okay, one wing sewn on. Just like a one wing dragon, sing something sounds like he's singing. <laughs> Hello from Puerto Rico. Hola. I think that's right. <laughs> Hi, Lirel. Lir Lir Liriel Liriel Coral. What a unique name, I love it. Okay, so we got wings like this. How's this for the second wing? Oh my gosh, I know this song. What do I know this song from? Oh my gosh, I really, like, I I have listened to this song so many times, but I can't think of, I, what is this song from? Anybody know what this song is from? It's Bug and Me. Oh, man, I really want to know what this song is from. I think I need to go, actually, you know what, this is good. This is good for the wing. People all around the world are watching. David, uh, could you you want some help figuring out how to enter giveaway number two? Giveaway number two is pretty easy to enter, actually. All you have to do to enter giveaway numero dos 
is you need to A, um, uh, be subscribed to the channel, and then B, click the link that's in the description. It'll take you to a community post that I posted just before this live stream started. And what you have to do is name the dragon that we're making right now. That's it. You just need to give it a good name. And my favorite name will win uh, a dragon kit at the end of or uh, next week's live stream, uh, which will be on next uh, Friday. Oh, thank you. Do you want it like folded like that or do you want it straight across? No, this is perfect. Okay. This is perfect. I'll swat. Oh, boy. Did I make it too hot? No, no, it's nice. Okay. It's nice. It's burning. It's it's burning my flesh. Oh boy. Yeah, so great. I like it. So good. I like it. Uh, someone call me if he dies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, Jules, Louis dying. You're gonna get a post on Instagram or something. Yeah. <laughs> I think I could just do that. Let's see how this looks. I'm just kind of like ad libbing these wings here. So I don't know. I don't know. I might be sewing this one on a little weird. Actually, it's, it's not bad. I like it. The only thing is the fuzz from the pipe cleaner showing through a little bit more than I would like, but I think I can, I think I can try to avoid that a little bit. Maybe cut it or something. Handy do day, do day for a dayer. Did I set this on? No, I didn't. Good. Good, good. How long do I think this live stream would take? Because Denmark is 2.30 right now, or 2.03. Uh, this live stream is going to probably take at least another hour, maybe two. Um, probably, it'll probably be two and a half hour live stream, so we'll probably finish around 6.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time. I think uh, I think that's as long as I'm gonna be able to make it happen before I'm like I need food I need to not be dead because it takes a while or it takes a lot out of me to go for a long time without eating but I did have like late lunch before the stream started so I think I'll be able to survive but yeah I think probably about another hour maybe We got wings. I think they look pretty good too. If you ask me, wow, she did make this thing really hot. I am, I am sweating. <laughs> is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes, period. There's no question about it. A hot dog is a sandwich. That is the case, leaf sauce. If anybody tells you different, they don't know what the heck they're talking about. Hot dogs are sandwiches. I would also argue that corn dogs are also sandwiches. Fight me. <laughs> Hot dogs are sandwich. Sandies. Also, here's another one for you. Cereal? I be yeah, well, a hot dog is a kind of a taco. Yes, you're not wrong. But tacos are also sandwiches. <laughs> I'm going to make some enemies in, a in the chat. Ooh, a new episode of What If just came out. Oh, wait. <gasps> Did we get a new? <gasps> we got a new Club Crochet member. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's someone just changing. It, someone canceling, actually. Actually, it's the opposite of getting a new Club Crochet member. <laughs> someone canceling a Club Crochet membership. But that's okay. If you'd like to sign up for a membership, you can cancel it at any time that you want. And it does give you a free trial. A calzone. A calzone is a sandwich. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I agree. I think a calzone is a sandwich. Okay, we're on round 27 now. I finished sewing on the arms and the fangs. I, <laughs> Kendo was like, I'm out of here. 
No, I'm not a fan of Louie anymore. He thinks hot dogs are sandwiches. And Noodle Studio says a taco equals a taco. Oopsies, I should be counting my stitches. We got four. Five. Okay, cool. Eight. I'm, I actually, I'm just going to do this right quick. There we are. Is fried chicken a sandwich? No, I don't think fried chicken is a sandwich. Because fried chicken can... Well, hmm. Okay, now here's a question. Because fried chicken is included in sandwiches. Right? Sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. Oh, shoot. Did I mess up somewhere? Hold on. We got to count stitches here. No, we're good. Oh! Oh, Jane! Oh, Johnny! Oh, you're the sweetest! By the way, if you didn't know... Let me move this dragon here out of the way. If you didn't know, you can also help support this channel by donating. You can tip right here at clubcrochet.com slash tip, and that goes straight to me. And Johnny just tipped 20 whole dollars. And when you tip, I do put something out on the live stream for you to, to be like, hey, thank you. Here is something for you. And Johnny, you tipped real big. So we're going to give you something, something big. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? Let's, let's look into the, let's look into the monsters. I got some weird monsters that we can add. Oh, here's the big ones. Hold on. Right back here. Right back here. And right there. Um. Here we go. You might know this one. This is for Johnny. We'll put this guy out here. He needs a. He needs a butt stand. There we go. This is the antlered meeble walker. This is actually in the, um, this is a pattern on the website too. And we're going to put the antlered meeble walker out here just for you, Johnny. And if you have a, a, a good name for your antlered meeble walker, let me know. Um, he could use, or she, I don't know. I guess you get to choose, Johnny. You're the, you're the one that donated. What do you want your name to be for this uh, antlered meeble walker? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Where let's die. <laughs> All right, so we're on. Okay, so one. Four. Five. Ooh, I like this music. It's so chill. <laughs> Our dragon is coming together. Do I have a favorite book, author, or series? I do. My favorite book is The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. I actually just really like Ray Bradbury in general. He is, um, yeah, he's my favorite author. I really like Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury. There is my answer to your question. Do you have a favorite book? Um, I personally really like short story books, uh, especially ones that are canonical. So like, or, or um, not canonical, um, like a, uh, a concept book. So I really like books where there's a bunch of short stories and they're all like about the same kind of thing or, or living in like the same world, which is the exact 
case with the Martian Chronicles. They're all based on Mars. Um, and yeah, I that's that's my kind of books that I really like. If anybody's got a good suggestion for a book of short stories, I am here to read them. Always looking for more short story books to read. Clyde, I love the name Clyde. <laughs> a book is a paper sandwich. <laughs> yes, a book is a paper sandwich. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so now we got to sew on our legs. <laughs> it's a paper sandwich. You're a dork. Okay. This drag is looking quite swaggy. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so I think that the legs also have three stitches in between legs. Let me make sure, though. One, two, three. Yep, baroni. Okay, and then we want four rounds. One, two, three. So it's right there. That, that looks good to me. Oh, Phantom Tollbooth. That, you know what? See, Starlight, you're right. That actually might be my favorite book. It is It is honestly a toss-up. I, I, I've I read the Phantom Tollbooth. I used to read it every year, but I don't think I read it last year. So that means I've got to read it this year. I love that book. It is the. It is so clever. Um... Yes, I'm. I am a big fan of the Phantom Tollbooth. Also, good book. Good book for all ages. Also, good book for kids, and it's a good book for adults. It's just a really clever book. Okay, so we got this foot. We're gonna sew on here, and I just want to make sure I sew it on in the right place before I start. This is from Pikmin. This song is from Pikmin. I love Pikmin. I think I think Pikmin is my favorite game made by Sigiro Miyamoto. He is the guy that made Mario and Zelda and stuff. I think Pikmin's my favorite one that he's made. It's so good. If you haven't played Pikmin yet, go get it. It is a very good game. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can go there. It is so clever. The world of r rhyme and reason. I love it. I love it. Oh, it gives me chills thinking about how good the Phantom Tollbooth is. Also, if you haven't um, yet seen it, there is a... Um, that author, Norton... Juster Norton Brown? I can't remember what the author's name is of the Phantom Tollbooth, but um, he has a short story called uh, The Lion in the Circle, I think that's what it's called, and my favorite animator uh, whose name is Chuck Jones he's, he is an animator that um, he's he was a Looney Tunes animator, really really proficient Looney Tunes animator, he did like all of the all of the best, honestly, the best Looney Tunes you you can remember, that was Chuck Jones. Um, uh, he also goes by Charles Jones. Anyhow, he did a, he animated the short story for The Line and the Circle, which is a short story by uh, Norton Juster, Norton Brown, I can't remember what that author's name is. Uh, that is so good. It is a really, 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 really good short story. Check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, just look up uh, the line in the circle, I think, is all that is called. Um, high recommendation. One, two, three, four. Nope. 
Norton Juster. Is that right? I feel like Norton Juster is his name, but I don't know. Let me look it up. Phantom. Yep, Norton Juster. I'm a genius. I am a genius. <laughs> Sometimes I tell Jules that I'm a genius. And she she thinks she used to think it was funny. I don't know if she still does because I say it all the time. Abagadius. Wow, Abagadius. Where do my scraps of yarn go? Uh, my scraps of yarn for this guy are going to go right back into him. Um, so I don't have to use as much stuffing. Oopsies. Speaking of stuffing, that's not supposed to go out there. But uh, other than that, I recycle them because if I have too much, usually I use my stuffing, or my my scraps to stuff with. But if I don't, uh, then I recycle them because it's all 100% cotton. It can be recycled. But saving it for stuffing is a great move. It saves on stuffing. It's a lot more dense than regular stuffing, which is perfect for amigurumi. And uh, it's a great way just to not waste. Waste not, want not. How much is this pattern? T Savvy asks. Um, I think this pattern is, it is $3.99 on my website and I put it for $4.50 on Etsy so it's cheaper on my website and uh, or, or you can get a Club Crochet membership for $5 or actually it's a free trial for 7 days um, or $5 a month and you can get it that way as well uh, and if you get a membership account um, you actually get all of my patterns so it's a pretty good deal uh, I, would, I would say sign up for a membership even if you want to do just like a free trial, sign up for the free trial, try this pattern out, uh, maybe try a few more patterns out. And if you like it, keep it coming because I keep doing, adding more patterns to it every single month. Uh, and yeah, so that's my answer to that. I think that is the best deal. And you can always cancel it last minute if you don't want this membership or you want to cancel it before the free trial. You can do that. I'd rather you not, of course, because, you know, it helps support this channel. But you can if you want to. It's okay. I understand. I have not had much money. In fact, I still don't have that much money. But <laughs> I have had not that much money also. So I know how that feels. Okay, so we are going to sew on this other leg right here. We're doing pretty dang good on time, I gotta say. Probably we'll have enough time to try making a um, thing, uh, uh, a saddle for him. Evan wants to win the giveaway. Well, then, in that case, you win. No, I'm just kidding. Good luck to you, Evan. I hope you do win. Let's see how many people have entered the giveaway. Let's see here. How do I look at that? First off, I'm going to copy that. Oh, wow. Pretty good amount. Pretty good amount. That's great. Cool. Very cool. And it's going to be chosen at random. So if you win... You deserved it. If you lose, it's not your fault. It was random. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Ooh, Intense musica. This music is a little intense, huh? It's supposed to be calming. Let's go to a new. Let's go to a. Let's go to the jazz one. Ready? I'm gonna have to skip a song later, but I really like this, these, these songs. <laughs> I 
I dance a lot. So, so what? Who cares? What did you miss? Oh my gosh. Johnny, did you, did you miss it? Oh my gosh, you missed the craziest thing. So, a demon from another dimension came through the ground, flew up, and turned everything purple. Like everything, I know the background's purple, but everything was purple. I was purple, this was purple, everything was purple. And he told me that the only way he'll reverse this is if I uh, promise him the soul of my firstborn. And I told him that I've already had a firstborn and it was born without a soul. And he was like, oh, dang, shoot. So I'm too late? And I was like, well, it's not necessarily that you're too late. It's just that I didn't have a soul. And he said, oh, okay. All right, well, have a good day. Uh, I'll turn it off from not being purple anymore. And I was like, okay, sure. And then he went like, and then everything came back to normal. And you totally missed it. You missed all of it. I can't believe you missed it. It was an actual demon from like another another dimension. It was crazy. You totally missed it. <laughs> Hope you feel FOMO. You missed out. You missed out on the demon. Ask anybody. The demon was here. <laughs> can't believe you missed it. I can't believe it. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Let's go right here. <laughs> yes, everybody saw this demon. He was, you know what? For a demon, he was pretty nice. I'm going to say it. He was a pretty nice demon. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Ooh, see? That's not right. How did I goof? We'll figure it out. I goofed somewhere showing this arm, this leg, but don't worry about the soulless child. You know, it it happens to the best of us. I mean, what even is a soul, you know? More stuffing. Ooh, I think I got. I think I got some more coffee to drink. Evan, baby, you might be able to get it. If you come up with a really good name, that's gonna be your best chance to get it where I actually get to choose the name. But otherwise, it's gonna be random. Ow, I hit myself in the glasses. No more coffee. I'm out. Yes, we're talking about a crochet baby, definitely. Yikes. <laughs> Coffee, it is currently 5.30. I'm a late night guy though. I wake up really late and I stay up really late. Um, I'm a night owl. So that is why I'm drinking coffee right now. T-Savvy, where do we go for the giveaway? Check the description of this video. There are two links for two different giveaways. The first giveaway is uh, for the live stream. I'm gonna be announcing it later, so you have another maybe an hour, maybe not, maybe a little less than an hour, 
to submit to that one, all you gotta do for that one is submit your name in a form. It's really easy. Uh, and you gotta like this video, of course, uh, and be subscribed. But other than that, it's a pretty easy one to enter. The other one is, uh, the second giveaway is to name this dragon. And that one's going to be announced next live stream, which will be not this Friday, but the Friday after this. Um, so that is going to be the next live stream and that's where i'm going to announce the next or the winner of the second giveaway and the name of our dragon i might announce it a little early on like social media or something but uh yeah it'll be given away then and both of the giveaways are for a dragon crochet kit so you can win a crochet kit um and it is available for international people if you would like to if you're not from the United States, that's okay, no worries. You can still enter to win the giveaway. Oh, and if this video gets uh, 300 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway too. Where are we at with that, by the way? Let's see, let's see, why don't we? 186. <whistles> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We might get there. Good luck. All right, so we got our dragon. Like, look at this. He's he's standing. We got him standing. Now we can continue on to finishing it up. Wow, that is really hot for late night. Man, I gotta go to the laundry. I gotta go do laundry this week too. I hate doing laundry. Especially because our laundry machine in our building is broken, so I need to go to the laundry, uh, like essentially where you're going to the laundry shack. Um, we call it a laundry, I don't know what we call it, a laundry place. You know, the laundry place. <laughs> where all the cool kids hang out in the laundry place. <laughs> Yeah, so I gotta go there, uh, like, yeah, probably maybe tomorrow or something. I hate doing that, though. I want to have a laundry machine in my apartment. That would be amazing. Or to have a house. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a house? Oh, it'd be so wonderful. Procrastination is the best kind of nation. Oh, Desiree's learning the star patterns. Those ones are pretty good. I like those patterns a lot. Hope you like them. 97 degrees. Where are you where it's 97? That is warm. All right. The tail is coming together. Come together right now. Taily. How did I hang the stars for the baby mobile? All I did was just hang them with, uh, I think I used black yarn so that they would hide in the darkness uh, and then just hung them with the black yarn. It, it wasn't really very complicated to be honest. So humid. Virginia's in Dixie. Dixie. I ain't never been ain't never been down to Dixie before. Ooh. Sounds creepy. Sounds creepy, Johnny. I would love to be in a house though. It would be nice. I, I just you know what I really want? I want a backyard. Or a front yard where I can um, I can make a goblin village. That's what I really want. I want to make a goblin village. Oh no, the brace. Oh, you mean like the the ring that went around the um, the mobile, like that? What do you mean by the brace? Oh yeah. Okay. So what did I hang them from? Yeah. Okay. So what I used was uh, I got a. Um, a, what are they called? Uh, 
with like a uh, 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 like a hoop, like a wooden hoop from Amazon. Um, I think it was like a foot wide. And then I wrapped lights around the hoop and then I wrapped black yarn around all of it and kept the light sticking out of the black yarn. I think there's a live stream actually. There's probably a recorded live stream where I do it so you can kind of see what I did there. Um, yeah, you can check it out. Goblin Village. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do instead of the Goblin Village, because, you know, I don't have a house to do that with, is to do a big yarn bomb in Golden Gate Park. That's what I want to do. And just hide a bunch of goblins everywhere, like, so they're, like, trying to cut down trees and whatever. <laughs> I think that would be really fun. Okay, we're good. We're doing great. Embroidery hoops. Yes, that's what that's what it is. Thank you, Sandra, San, Sandir, Sandire, Sandire, Sandra. How do I say your name? I see, I see you in here all the time, and I always feel like I'm really bad at saying your name. Let me know how to say it. Guardian of the trees. Guardian of the trees. Sin Dire. I'm gonna guess. Sin Dire. Ray. Sin Dire. Sin Dire. There we go. There we go. It's perfect. I did it perfect. <laughs> I think I was not that far off. Ooh, that would be cool. Some hanging dragons, like. That would be so cool. I totally should do that. That would be really cool. count my stitches really quick to make sure that I'm on track. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right, but I just want to make sure. Uh, yes, Kylie, that's exactly why I want to count my stitches. I want to do one more round here and then I'm going to stuff it. One, two, three. We should have nine stitches, I think. Four, five, six, Eight and here's the one. Yes, we got it. Perfect. Okay, now let's stuff them up. Okay, I'll call you soon. That's a great idea, Aquatic Luna. Fireballs, and oh my gosh, that would be so cool. That is a really good idea. Like a baby mobile, but there's dragons flying around with fireballs in between the dragons. That would be so cool. What could I do for the center of it? You guys came here to listen to me sing, right? <laughs> Ooh, Sin, you figured out the feet issue for left-handed people. What, what was the trick? Oh my gosh. 
Tina, that would be very cool, but that would be really tough. If you can make this mini by using like embroidery thread for it, you can make one probably about like that big. That would be crazy. I, I, I'm never gonna do that because that is just seems like a lot of work and really difficult. But uh, I would be super impressed. If anybody makes one out of embroidery thread, I'll give you a free Club Crochet membership if you send me a photo to louis at clubcrochet.com. You do that, let me know, I'll give you a free Club Crochet membership for like a few months. I'll be super duper impressed too because that seems extremely difficult. This dragon's come together very nicely. Oh, a unicorn in the middle. That, that's a good idea. Oh, this is the song I need to skip. Hold on. Or else I'll get in trouble. There we go. We just skipped ahead. <laughs> Reen! Hello, Reen. Welcome to the stream. Is that you with your... Is it a... Is it a horse in your thumbnail? Looks like it's a horse. What's your horse's name? Oh, I should keep track. I'm gonna mark off where I was so I know where to keep going. Yeah, I think, I think you're exactly right, Desiree. Virginia would do that. Oh, hey, by the way, I forgot to uh, remind everybody, there is a Club Crochet Challenge going on right now. You should totally join it. It is going to be awesome. Uh, you can win uh, $20 to the Club Crochet store. So it's a pretty good, pretty good win. Uh, all you got to do is design or like crochet a, uh, a castle. So you just need to make... Um, do I have a castle? Where do I keep that castle? Here's one. Oh, here's a sand castle. That's kind of fun. So all you got to do is crochet a castle. The pattern's at clubcrochet.com slash castle. And here, I think I have it. Oh, that thing always pops up when I do that. Here we go. You can join the Club Crochet Challenge. All you gotta do is crochet a castle, and you can learn more at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, Victoria is helping run it right now, so yeah, you should totally check that out. It is a very cool challenge, and I'm really excited to see what everyone makes. There's, I think there's a little bit more than 10 days left in the challenge, so all you gotta do, crochet a castle, clubcrochet.com slash castle. There is my little spiel there, and... <gasps> Ooh, Kane Nova's gonna make her castle tomorrow. What are you gonna make? What kind of castle are you making? A lot of people have been adding windows to their castles and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't add a window to my castle. That's such a good idea. I can't believe that I didn't do windows. Seems so silly to me now that I know. Let's do a I'm gonna do a different different soundtrack. Here we go. We're gonna to go to sky music because we're dragons. Ready? <sighs> Teleporting to the sky now. We made it. Oh my gosh, we made it. Wow. Wow, it's so pretty up here. Oh, Wadina. Very cute. Divine Rose is having a serious case of deja vu right now. Divine Rose is having a serious case of deja vu right now. Divine Rose is having a serious case of deja vu right now. Isn't that crazy? A serious case of deja vu right now. 
<laughs> All right, so we're almost done with the main body of our dragon. Next, we want to uh, next we'll sew on our spikes, and then we can start working on a uh, a harness for our dragon. I want to make the harness able to be taken on and off. That is the goal. But we'll see how that works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Cool. We're on track, though. We're doing great. We're doing great. Yeah, dr a castle contest. Fluriel. It's pretty cool. You totally should join it. The castle pattern is free during the contest too, so whether you want to join that castle contest or not, you should check out the pattern at clubcrochet.com slash castle. Uh oh, sounds like Aquatic Luna is being attacked by a, uh, a group of maybe vampires? <laughs> I started watching what we do in the shadows. Uh, well, actually, I've been watching what we do in the shadows for a while, but I started watching the third season, and it that show is so good. That is a heavy recommendation for you guys. If you haven't watched it yet, check out What We Do in the Shadows. It's a great show. So one, two, three. I should be at six stitches now. Four. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now, before I do my last two rounds, we just want to add some stuffing and a pipe, another pipe cleaner in the tail. Okay. Stuff in there. It is a very good show. <laughs> Ooh, bring it on, Sea Starlight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm very excited to see what you make. What a space castle would look like. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make some room at the top for the pipe cleaner. I think we only really need half of a pipe cleaner here because a whole pipe cleaner is gonna be like way too big. So, do I wanna cut this pipe cleaner in half? Or do I have a pipe cleaner already cut in half? No, whatever, let's cut it. Uh oh, that didn't go well. There we go. Okay, so we're just adding a pipe cleaner in the tail so that the tail can be posable just like everything else. Sitting on a pile of stars. Space castle. Whoa, that's a cool emoji. I didn't even know that emoji existed. That space one, that is a really cool emoji. The Borg box. There we go. Let's 
just a little bit, just enough to make it so it compels a little bit. And do we have enough stuffing in it? Mm, whatever. It'll work. Okay. Let's finish this tail up, and then we can get working on the last bit. Sewing on our spikes, and then adding a harness to our dragon. Again, if this video gets to 300 likes, I'll do another giveaway in our next live stream. I don't think you're going to be able to make it, but I... Wow, it's almost at 200! Only 100 more. That's... That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, gee whiz. Ooh, an underwater castle. Very cool. Okay, one more stitch. Right here. Oh, making the very last stitch in an amigurumi that's taken this long feels so good. It's like, <sighs> you know, you know what I mean? I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit of stuffing in the tail before I sew it up and then add our add our spikes. Gosh, I have so many dragons now too. I don't even know what to do with all these dragons. The tail uh, is posable. Check it out, Alice. See? See? It's totally posable. There's a pipe cleaner in there also. <laughs> Divine Rose is, is stressed out about this. You could do it. You could totally do it. But I get you. It is a lot more than my normal patterns. My normal patterns are a lot easier and quicker to make. This is a, this is much more of a project. But it is very cool. It is very cool. It's all worth it when you see the finished project dude Francisco thank you so much Francisco says that the oh, thankful the crochet last year lefty tutorials are really easy oh I'm gonna start doing some more lefty uh, versions of my videos by the way but thank you so much dude that means a lot thanks for coming in and saying hi and I appreciate it oh I forgot to stuff in all of our stuff <laughs> Oopsies. I forgot to use my thread for stuffing. My bad. Oh well, I'll use it for the next project. Okay. So next up we want to sew on our uh, our spikes. And I have a very specific way that I like to do this. I want to grab a little bit of different color yarn. We can use pink. Yeah, I would say this took me about, this taking me about four hours, I would say. Give or take. Okay. Let's start right here. And then one, two. This is where the the spikes are gonna be sewn on. OK, 
Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one more. One, two, like that. Da 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 da! Okay. Now we're gonna sew the spikes on in these belts. Do I have any tips on going through many loops? Hmm. I think I'm confused about what that means. So, I can't. I'm not sure. Patience and practice? I mean, that's just an answer for everything, though. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know, because I, I think I need more information about what do you mean by more loops? Like, what do you need to go into more loops for? Sorry, this pattern, this part of the pattern can be a little tricky, so I'm, I'm putting a little bit more uh, focus into it than I normally do. We're adding the spikes. Let's see them. I'm a little worried about the harness going on over the spikes, but we'll just have to figure it out. I think I'll just have to make it more raised or something, or have the spikes be like pushed down in that part. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Oh, like having a lot of loops on your crochet hook. Um, keep keep a tight tension. Um, that would be the first tip. Is like make sure that you have like uh oh, I missed a spike. Make sure that you have like a pretty tight tension for your for your uh, stitches, stitch so that nothing becomes like too loose. Um, Cause that can be a problem, especially with like things like bobble stitches or, or popcorn stitches is if one of the loops is like a little looser than the other ones, it'll be very noticeable. So keep a tight tension, keep everything um, as close as you can to each other. Let's see what else. Hmm. Be really patient with it because uh, I think crocheting stitches with with additional loops on it is definitely one of like the more frustrating techniques. Uh, so, see Starlight, are the live streams rewatchable? Yes, absolutely, they're rewatchable. You can find a list of all of the live streams at clubcrochet.com/live. Uh, that's where I put all the live streams. Or it's like a URL that I use to like quickly get to all the live streams, you know? Those are some spikes you got there. Okay. Good night from Denmark, Tina. Good night. I'll see you next, uh, maybe next Friday. Um, that's when our next live stream is going to be. Not this Friday, but the Friday after that. The date is going to be the 24th. That is going to be the next live stream. And I've got some kind of fun stuff planned for that one. So I hope you like it. But I'll see you then, Tina. Or, wait, was that Tina? Yes, Tina.
Oh, that's so cool, Desiree. Yeah, I agree. I think that one is my favorite of the, um, like, the learning patterns that I've made. Uh, I really tried to put a lot of effort into making it accessible for newbies. So I'm glad you like the octopus pattern. That's why it's one of my favorites, because it's just such a, it's so easy. When you start doing them, um, uh, I, that's actually, I think that's going to be my first Friday live stream. So it's, it's a brand new thing. But we're going to try doing like a freestyle Friday where I draw something and crochet it live on the, uh, crochet it on the live stream. So we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Okay, last bit. All right, guys, we got a dragon. Now for the post credit scene, we're gonna be making a, trying to make a harness for our dragon and then we'll announce the winner for the giveaway number one. Okay, so first off, let's take a good look at this here dragon before we try adding a harness. Now, I don't know if the harness is gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a shot. Spikes a little bit. Huh? What do we think? Pretty good. Golden dragon. Wow, he's beautiful. Or she, I don't know. That'll be up to you guys to decide with the name. But, I mean, that is pretty freaking cool. I love that he can, that they can go in the palm of your hand. I just think that's such a cool thing, personally. Let's get this tail down a little bit. Like that. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's put this down. We'll have this dragon be right here, and then we'll work on a little harness for him. I have my brown yarn somewhere. There it is. And let's see if we can't make a little harness for him. Now, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but I got a few ideas to try out. And I'll go as quick as I can, Rebecca, before you fall asleep. Although, it is perfectly 6 o'clock right now, so maybe we should just call it. I don't know. Let's try the harness. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I'll do quick. Jan B, thank you. Love that butterfly emoji too. That's a good emoji. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like a monarch. Hmm. Okay. I don't have a pattern for whatever I'm making right now, by the way. I'm just making it up as I go. So if you're like, how'd you do that? I'm going to be like, I don't know. I just did it. Hello, Misty. Welcome to the stream. Perfect timing. You could still enter the giveaway. By the way, you have maybe five to ten more minutes left to enter the giveaway to win a crochet kit for a, a dragon of your own. You can find all the links and information in the description down below. Um, and yeah, good luck to everybody. All you got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel. And let's see, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, what else was the rules? Oh yeah, there's a form. I am going to choose it. So like that for the harness. And then, should it go? I don't know if it should go around the wing. Yeah, it could go around the wing. So we'll go, okay. Let's try slip stitches in the 
top loops to give our character something to sit on. So that it'll like be a little bit more, um, you know. Ooh, ooh, wait, I got an idea. We'll make this the back. Three. That. Maybe we'll do four. And then we'll slip stitch the rest. See, so I'm making like a little back bump there so our character can sit on it. Right? And then I'm going to go and do loops around the wings and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to go around the wings, though. I think I'm going to try to make it so it just goes around the arms. We'll see how it goes. Turtle Dragon! I can try putting Clyde on the dragon. He, he might be a little big for this little dragon, though. Okay. So that's all the stitches for the top of it. And now we want to make the bottom of it, so we're going to go... Actually, maybe we'll go like... Let's cut it. And hide this end. And then I'll pick up a new bit so that the top row, like this top border here, is very clean. That's what I'm looking for. I don't want to make it too complicated. We want it to be comfortable for whoever's going to be sitting on it. all the way down. That. Okay, so we got the top bit of the harness done. Just go like this. Let's make sure, let's make sure a little goblin can ride in it. Otherwise, what's the point? I can find a goblin. <laughs> Here's a great goblin. And it's a little small for a goblin. But whatever, it works. Okay. And then the next bit is we want to add arm, arm holds. You know, I would put Shank on the goblin, but I don't know where Shank is right now. I think he's in my stitch set which is hidden in the corner of the room so it just seems like a lot of work to go find shank although that is so a shank move to ride a goblin or to ride a dragon let's go Start right here. And when we come back around, we'll make the I don't know if this is gonna work. This might look this might end up looking really weird. This music is so epic.
Yeah, this works. Okay, so we're just gonna do chains enough so that he can go around the arm. Two. Eight. Let's try ten, see how that goes. Go like right there. So go around like this. I mean, that works, but I'm afraid it's gonna be really hard for me to put it on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few more chains, make it a little looser in the arms. I don't know if we need a tail loop. Maybe we will. We can always add a tail loop afterwards though. That'll be the arm loop. Oh no, Chaos City's just got braces. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know what? Your teeth are gonna be so nice and straight one day. Having braces is a bummer though. I'm so sorry that you have to deal with that. But we've all had them. Or at least a lot of us have. I had the braces. I had braces for a long time too. Go right there. Okay. I think I did 12. Let's try 12 again. One. Four. Six. Go around that arm. Then this one will go around this arm. I just want to check it before I call it. Oh shoot, maybe we do need a tail one. I mean, this is not bad though. That's not bad at all. But yeah, a tail one that just goes around this part would be nice. Sure. Sure, sure. We can do it. Let's finish up this bit, and then we'll add a tail one. Or maybe we'll pull back and then do tail. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just undo this. We'll add the tail right here. And the tail one's gonna have to be a lot bigger though. One, two, three, six, ten. Let's try that. Arm, tail. Oh, I hope this dragon doesn't find this extremely uncomfortable. But who knows? We're gonna put it on another dragon, not this guy though. He's golden. He didn't get a. <laughs> he cannot be ridden. You cannot tame a golden dragon. Actually, let's get the other dragon. Let's grab this one. This is who will. This who who will put a. It on. I probably should be measuring it on him. And then that goes around like that. And then these go on the arms. And we'll do another arm over here. I'm gonna add a couple more chains to the tail one though. Hi, Evan. Okay, so we got a few more rounds here and then we'll call it and we'll do a, we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll pick a winner for the giveaway number one.
three, four. Ten. Ten and twelve. Slip stitch here to reconnect. All right, let's cut this and sew in all the ends and then try it out on our, on our other dragon. This was actually one of the rough drafts of the dragon. You can tell because it doesn't have any, um, he doesn't have any spikes. He ain't got no spikes. Oh, it's Kenzie, quick, enter the giveaway. Um, the giveaway is for a dragon crochet kit. Um, you can find the link in the description. We're giving away a dragon crochet kit. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and fill out the form, which is in the um, description of this video. Actually, one second, I can I'll put it out for you, one sec. Only a few more minutes left to, to enter. If you haven't entered the giveaway yet, go enter it now. Your last chance. All right, so let's see how this harness works on our second dragon here. We got, oh wait, let's cut these ends. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, that's fine, whatever. No real sweat off our backs. Arm one, on. Arm two. This will be a little easier because he doesn't have the spikes. On. And then the tail. Ooh, it's, a, it's a bit of a stretch for the tail though. But hey, not bad. Actually, if we went around the wings too, it probably would work even better, but it's kind of hard to get around those wings. But that is a harness. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, cool. So we've got a harness and let's add a fella to be riding them. Oh, we got this guy. This guy's perfect because he's got the He's got a funny helmet also. Huzzah! <laughs> Look at this silly little harness I made for this dragon. Oh my gosh, that is so silly. I love it. All right, well guys, that's gonna be it. We're gonna put this guy out right here. Here is the, let me post the giveaway. One minute. Okay, I posted the, it in the chat again. You have one minute to enter this giveaway and then I'll explain everything that's going on here and we'll put our dragons up to watch. Actually, we're just gonna fill this screen with dragons. I have so many now. So we got one, we'll put this guy in the back here. goblin on him we got oh, this dragon so here's the deal you got to enter these giveaways giveaway number one we're gonna get do it in just a second at random and both these giveaways are for a crochet kit for a dragon here's another one look at all these dragons I got here's another one Look at all these dragons. Where's our last one? Here he is, the green one. Look at these dragons. Oh my gosh, I got so many of them. Okay, dragon army. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. So we're gonna choose someone at random for this giveaway. I'm gonna turn this giveaway off in just a second. 
but don't worry there's two giveaways this one's just this just live the next one's going to be given away next week next friday so you have a whole week to enter that one and to enter that one you just have to name this dragon again there is a link in the description uh, for where you can name the dragon okay so we're gonna turn Ooh, someone Ooh, people are entering okay we got two more people entered like last second seriously you got like two seconds left to enter it guys Three, wait, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, not accepting responses anymore, guys. All right, so we have got 83 responses. We need to do a random number generator oopsies that can follow yarn okay and we have 83 boom 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 we know the winner here we go I just need to find them okay and the winner is, drum roll please, for giveaway number one. Our winner is, <laughs> Diane Blair. Congratulations, Diane. I don't know if you're still in the chat, but congratulations. You've won a free club crochet kit for a dragon. So I'm gonna be emailing you in just a second, Diane. And, or I'll email you later tonight uh, asking for where to ship this. But congratulations. If you didn't win the giveaway, don't worry. There's still one more giveaway available. Giveaway number two is still up. All you got to do for giveaway number two is join, is go into the description. There is a link for giveaway number two. And you just need to give a really good name for your, for this golden dragon. Give a name for our golden dragon here and the best name will win our second giveaway. You do not have to be live for this next giveaway and I will announce the winner for the next one next Friday. So you have about a week to enter to win the second giveaway. Guys, thank you so, 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 so much for joining. Seriously, you guys rock. Thank you so much for joining. We have uh, so many people still watching. This is crazy. I haven't had like for a Wednesday live stream, I'm just so delighted. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for crocheting along with me. Um, and I'll see you guys next Friday where we're going to be making, not this Friday, but the Friday after. We're going to be making uh, something random. We're going to be making, uh, I'm going to do a freestyle Friday. So I'm going to try drawing something and then crocheting it live on the stream. So that's going to be next Friday, the... Um, 24th so you can join there and uh, yeah guys pasta la pizza thanks again for joining and I'll see you guys in about a week or so <laughs> cold blood adventures go submit your submit your dragon name there on the in giveaway number two guys thanks again for joining seriously I really appreciate it all right guys pasta la pizza Happy hooking, and uh, yeah, bye. No, oh my gosh, stop it. Oh my God, you hang up. You hang up, oh my God, you're so Brad. Oh my God, oh. no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Mm -mm. I'm not hanging up first, you hang up first. No, stop. God, you're so embarrassing, stop it. You hang up. Karina, you hang up first. Oh my gosh. Evan, you hang up first. <laughs> Taco Yaki, no, you. <laughs> All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Bye.